Welcome to Newspaper Review on Africa Head TV in Oshun State, South West Nigeria. I am Comfort Arafa Shoko. On Vanguard Newspaper today, Tinubu meets bishops, says choice of Shetima not a try to Christian. Presidential candidate of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, Aswajibola Ahmed Tinubu, met with some Christian clerics under the ages of the Pentecostal Bishops Firm of Northern Nigeria. At the meeting, Tinubu disclosed that his choice of a former governor of Bono State, Kashim Shetima, was not a threat to the Christian community. He added that his decision was based on competence and not religious considerations, adding that only competence can resolve the political and socio-economic challenges bedeviling the nation. The APC presidential candidate said he has always been a friend of the Christian community and he should be considered based on his track records, plans and agenda for developing Nigeria. The bishops, however, said the meeting is not affirmation they will endorse APC's candidate, chairman of Pentecostal Bishop Forum of Northern Nigeria, Archbishop John Price, saying that the forum is not committed to endorsing anybody. Unfortunately, it is about wicked to expose bad characters in PDP today. River State Governor Yesom Wike is expected to speak on some wrongdoings and expose some bad characters in the People's Democratic Party today ahead of the 2023 elections. Wike had hinted on this while addressing a meeting of the state PDP stakeholders. They convened in Government House for Tarkot on Thursday. Governor Wike's camp and that of the PDP presidential candidate have been thrown in batters and traversed in both directions in the last couple of months. Why Wike's men, after a meeting in the early hours of Wednesday, issued a resolution to pull out of PDP presidential campaign council, Article had in his press conference said. Nobody can force the PDP national chairman, Senator Inyocha Haile, to resign. Governor Wike had in several forums said he would spill the beans concerning the goings-on in the country's main opposition party at the appropriate time. Speaking at the party stakeholders meeting, Wike vowed to remain in the PDP to fight for its unity, inclusiveness and equity. And on Vanguard newspaper, Akira Dodo films as federal government Nice and Motekun Fairham's license. Governor of Ondo State, Mr. Rotimi Akere Dolu, has accused the federal government of bias in refusing to allow the Western Nigerian Security Network Agency, also known as Amoteku Corps, to carry sophisticated Fairham's in response to the federal government's approval of the Casino State Security Outfit, which is equivalent to Amoteku Corps, to carry sophisticated Fairham's. The governor stated, we believe in one Nigeria, but we cannot have one country, two systems. This was contained in a statement issued by the governor on Thursday through his chief press secretary, Mr. Richard Olatunde. According to the governor, denying Amatekun the right to bear hands would expose the Southwest to life threatening, murderous, and organized crime. He hedged that if the casino situation comprised advantages on some in the face of commonly faced existential threats, it means that our unitary policing system, which has failed, is a deliberate method of subjugation which must be challenged. And lastly, on Vanguard News, the police arrest lawyer for beating elderly who refused to do house kills. The police have arrested a lawyer and human rights activist. Professor Zainab Abiola, who allegedly assaulted a police orderly in Abuja, reports gathered that the alleged assault was due to the refusal of our orderly inspector Teju Mozi to do out cares. Abiola, who arrested alongside our housemaid Rebecca Enechido, after a video clip went viral on Wednesday. In the video, the officer is seen in uniform bleeding, seated on the floor and asking to be taken to the hospital for medical attention. False public relations officer Muiwa Adejobi confirmed the professor's arrest in a statement yesterday, saying the Inspector General of Police is interested in the case. 
and that will be all on news report review today join us tomorrow for another edition you can share like and as well subscribe to our social media handles on facebook twitter instagram and youtube handles at africa edge tv many thanks for listening i am comfort Arapa Shoko.